I'm Cynthia Mulligan at Queen's Park. What a topsy-turvy week in provincial politics, and we still have breaking news to tell you this evening. First, though, Patrick Brown, uh, Tory leader Patrick Brown, his name was scraped off the office this morning. A few hours later, his interim replacement was announced, Vic Fideli. Now, caucus was hoping he would carry the party through the next election just in June. But moments ago, the executive of the party announced it was overruling that and there is going to be a leadership convention before June. So the question now is, how long will Vic Fideli be the top Tory in town? I graciously accept the position of party leader. This is a challenge and a journey that I will not take lightly. Minutes after Vic Fideli is declared interim leader of the PC party, he can't stop smiling. Fabulous. Caucus spent three and a half hours deciding who would replace former leader Patrick Brown, who resigned early yesterday morning after two women came forward with allegations of sexual misconduct. It didn't take Fideli long to take a stand on his predecessor. Like each one of you, I was disgusted to first hear of the allegations. I am asking Mr. Brown to take a leave of absence from the Ontario PC caucus while he has a chance to defend himself. Brown's name was scraped off the door of his former office this morning at Queen's Park. There has been no word from him since he ran from the media at Queen's Park Wednesday night. But today, his sister spoke out in his defense on Facebook, saying, What happened to my brother is disgusting. These completely false allegations were 100% politically motivated and nothing more than a political hit. We need to focus immediately on Kathleen Wynne and the Liberals. There's no time to waste. Am I surprised? No, I'm not. And there are still troubling questions about how much the party knew and when. MPP Lisa McLeod dropped a bombshell today, saying not only did she hear the rumors, she reported them to the party war room before Christmas. Do you think your party had greater responsibility to investigate these rumors? Uh, it's hard to say. I don't know what the mechanisms are in place. Did your party drop the ball? Did, did they turn a blind eye to this situation? Look, this is all unfolding uh, yesterday and today. There's new news. Uh, I, I believe that, uh, uh, that the women have every right to come forward, and I believe that Patrick now has an opportunity to step aside.